Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kristen Hartman. Not on your sides. Jake Ryle joins us live from the school in question with more information on this case. Jake. Well, it definitely is a headline that grabs your attention. A food worker that handles food for hundreds of kids each and every day infected with hepatitis A. That's according to health officials, but those officials say this is a relatively low risk situation. Northern Kentucky Health was made aware of a cafeteria worker at John G Elementary School in Covington who tested positive for Hep A. That worker was infected from November 13th through December 3rd, that being yesterday. Now, since then, Northern Kentucky Health launched an investigation and then came into the school to see if the workers were following proper hygiene procedures. Health officials tell us they were. Now, health officials also say the risk for others being infected is relatively low, especially for those students. Well, the, the good news is that uh, starting this year, all students had to be hep hepatitis A vaccinated to go to school, with the exception of uh, people who, who apply for and get exemptions from that. Uh, so most of the students uh, should be vaccinated for hepatitis A. Now here at the school, it's business as usual. The cafeteria and bathrooms were all cleaned using a higher concentrate of uh, disinfectant. And the school taking extra precaution, uh, precautions in throwing away any pots, pans, and materials that that infected person might have touched. Now the highest risk for infection officials say would be those other cafeteria workers. Health officials tell me that they have urged those cafeteria workers to go ahead and get a vaccine if they have not. We're hoping to speak with parents here at the school, and as soon as we do, we'll be sure to keep you updated on WCPO at 11. For now, reporting live in Covington, Jake Ryle 9 on your side.